as in the 5B model, meaningful evaluation invites students to self-evaluate in a reflective and metacognitive way. Here are a few examples of how students could make exit tickets using Google Jamboard. You can use Jamboard online like the other G Suite apps, but it works best in the Jamboard app if you can download that. It's an application compatible with Promethean and Smartboards. Just click Open in Jamboard and you can use the various tools and options with your board. Students can edit a template you've already begun or they can create their own jam by clicking back and forth between the jams. Clicking to the right will begin a new jam. You can create sticky notes and then move them around afterwards. You can also insert images, use the marker, eraser tools, etc. When inserting an image, it's similar to all of the other G Suite applications. The images can be sized and moved around as you please. To use the drawing tools, you can choose your size and color options. And students can also, of course, use pens that are compatible with your board to write interactively as well. Use this URL as a shortcut to begin a new drawing or have students use this since it is a tool where they can work collaboratively on tasks or create their own files. They can insert and upload images from outside sources or within your network or Google Drive. This application is kind of like an advanced paint. Students can insert text, shapes, lines, and much more. Google Drawings can also be used within Google Docs or inserted into a Google Doc. There can also be interactive tasks that students can work on collaboratively or independently and they can show their learning in a summative way. Like many of these assessment tools, Google Forms can be teacher or student generated. Like other G Suite apps, there are lots of templates to choose from. We'll start with a quiz to show you how that function works. The Question types will magically update based on your questions, but you can, of course, choose the format you prefer. In this question type, you can list the possible answers and you can click Add Other if you'd like the students to be able to give an open-ended answer. You click on Answer key to select the correct answers and you can go back to Edit Question when you're finished with that. You can make the questions required. That will force an answer before the students can submit the form. Those are all of the different options you can input. You can have a video. You can have them looking at an image. Forms is a very powerful tool that we will just show you the basics of how that quiz will look and how you go back to editing. When you want to send the form to your students or a group of people, you can send it by email, copy the link, or embed it into a website or have the form actually input into the email. You have the option to receive emails when responses are submitted as well. This exit ticket template can also be used to enhance and support students' metacognitive reflections. And when they've responded, you'll see a graph breakdown and you'll be able to scroll through individuals' responses or you can download the class responses. Forms automatically connects the responses in Google Sheets 
So when you create a new spreadsheet, you can use that as any other spreadsheet and see how the data is represented there. There are lots of different options for you to alter and choose depending on your purpose and your students. If you need to use lock mode on Chromebooks to disallow students from opening other windows while they're taking the quiz, you can select that option in the settings. From a student's perspective of how they can use this tool, the Doctor Form app is a free, easy add-on that you can have them utilize and it will basically create the form for them by using the work they've already done in an essay or in a document. All they have to do is select or highlight the text that they want to use as impetus for a poll or uh, a survey and the question types are in the drop down menu and they will have to input potential answers or options separated by a new line or a semicolon. When the new form is created, they can click on it and it will automatically be saved in their Google Drives. If students can be encouraged to create and use many varied types of questioning, it will enhance their own critical and creative thinking. When they want to share their form with each other, if they're working in a group, they can add collaborators by inviting individuals, or they can make this a shareable link. These are just a few evaluative tools to showcase reflective inquiry-based learning.